Mm. That's right. Now, Garissa Governor Ali Korane has tonight denied allegations mm. suggesting he is the mastermind behind the attempted murder of ex-county executive Idris Mukhtar. Indeed. Korane, who spoke for the first time about the incident, termed Mukhtar a friend and therefore he had no reason to plan his assassination. Well, this even as the victim's family claimed their lives are in danger following calls and text messages alleged from the governor's handlers. Mm, let's get that story from our very own Hassan Mugambe. Uh, you also record a, statement. a family in pain following the shooting of their loved one. Former Garissa Finance CEC Idris Mukhtar currently fighting for his life at an intensive care unit. His father Mukhtar Adan now fearing for the worst. As we are speaking now, as we are talking to the press, we are, we are not sure we shall be safe. The family continues to point an accusing finger at Garissa Governor Ali Korane, who denies claims that he wanted to stop Mukhtar from challenging his election as governor on grounds that he had presented fake academic credentials to the IEBC during the 2017 general election. There are three men who are now interfering with the investigation. Whatever implication legally it has, it's not for me to explain. The actor, the aider, they are better the procurer and the counselor of a crime are all principal offenders and must be treated as such. Mimi, sina sababu ya kuhusika na hiyo mambo. Sitaweza kufaidika na hilo jambo kwa njia yoyote. Siku ana shida yote na huyu bwana ambaye amepigwa risasi. Mutar's lawyer Charles Kanjama revealing how he unknowingly served two of the alleged assassins sent to his office how one of them even came to see me and, and uh, with, with some posing as a client with some kind of like consultation. And I saw her and I even gave her my business card. It also emerged that sometimes last month, Mukhtar recorded a statement at the Kilimani police station claiming his life was in danger. The statement detailing how he was approached by hitmen to literally begin for his life. They told us they were off given an offer of two million shillings to eliminate him. And one case said, if you can pay me less than that, I will give you more information. But the Garissa governor is fighting back. Speaking about the incident for the first time, Korane denied presenting fake academic credentials at the IEBC for clearance. Mimi Sina master's degree at University of Nairobi. Nasija Peleka IBC master certificate your yacht. This coming just days after a key suspect in the case, David Mwai, allegedly committed suicide in a cell at the Parklands Police Station in what many suspect may have been a deliberate move to eliminate a suspect who could spill the beans. If somebody makes a mistake in killing a suspect, then that person would take responsibility. Government pathologist Johansen Odor is tomorrow expected to conduct an autopsy on Mwai's body to establish the exact cause of death. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.